This video I will get you introduced with the Unity Catalog, a unified governance solution for data and AI assets on Lakehouse. Unity Catalog is available in major cloud platforms like AWS, Azure and Google Cloud and it's a premium offering from Databricks. Unity Catalog provides a lot of features, however, at very high level, so these are the key functionalities. Unity Catalog allows you to implement a centralized metadata layer, that is, all your databases, tables and views can be shared across multiple Databricks workspaces. Second, Unity Catalog allows you to use standard SQL syntax to grant permission on databases, tables and views. This permission work across all workspaces. Next, Unity Catalog captures user level audit logs. It offers feature like data discovery and lineage. Now let's look into the architecture of Unity Catalog and see how the system work at very high level. Unity Catalog do the management of identity and metastore. All your Databricks identities like users, groups and service principle live in the Unity Catalog. You can import identities like user, service principle or group from Azure Active Directory. All your metadata also lives in the Unity Catalog Metastore. That is, all your databases, tables and views are defined in the Unity Catalog Metastore. Once these two things, user management and metadata are centralized, you only need to assign permission to user or identity to this Metastore data object. That is, defining who can do what. That information also stored in the Unity Catalog. Next, we can connect our workspace uh, to the Unity Catalog once we defined your Metastore. So once connected, Databricks workspace use Unity Catalog for authorization. That is, say for example, one person from Databricks workspace tried to access a data object. It can be a database, tables or view. Databricks Workspace communicate with the Unity Catalog for authorization. The person can access that data object only if he has access to that and that access is defined in the Unity Catalog. Next, we will compare the one with Unity Catalog and without Unity Catalog. So without Unity Catalog, it works in a completely decentralized way. All your access control, user management and Metastore is local to each Databricks workspace. So there is no sharing of Metastore uh, between the workspaces. However, if you move to the one with Unity Catalog, this access control, user management and Metastore are centralized and managed by Unity Catalog. And you can connect to workspaces with this Unity Catalog and we will be controlling all these workspaces from this centralized Unity Catalog. Next, we will look into Unity Catalog object model. It follows a hierarchical naming standard where Metastore is at the root level. Each Metastore contain multiple catalogs and catalog which is at the first level in the hierarchy and it contain multiple schema or databases and each database can have multiple tables and views. All this data, Metastore data will be stored in an ADLS storage in the backend. So this is a typical use case where we are dividing Unity Catalog Metastore into various catalog. The first case where we are dividing the Metastore into various catalogs based on the environment. You can see uh, we have catalogs for development, staging and production. Next is based on the business unit. Again you can split or create different catalogs for each business unit. 
These are the step-by-step -step process you need to follow for enabling Unity Catalog. First step, create a Databricks workspace with a premium edition. Unity Catalog is restricted only for premium version. Then you need to take help from the Azure Active Directory Global Administrator because in the Unity Catalog console, initial admin access is restricted for Azure AD Global Admin only. So once Azure AD Global Admin login, he can add other users to the Unity Catalog admin group. Once you get the access in the Unity Catalog, you can start creating Metastore. Metastore make use of Azure Data Lake storage in the backend. So once you have done with the Metastore, you can attach your workspace. That's it about Unity Catalog. Thank you for watching this video.